Immunogenicity is an idiosyncratic response to a drug that's a therapeutic protein. What happens is that the particular drug will be perceived as a danger signal by the B cell or the dendritic cell. Both of them are antigen presenting cells. They can basically process the whole drug that is perceived as a danger signal and actually present, that's why they're called antigen presenting cells, they present the T cell epitope that then the T cell will recognize as dangerous and in the appropriate conditions of co-stimulation, this T cell will be activated to mount the immune response against the drug. Basically, this T-cell response will produce certain cytokines that can activate eosinophils or neutrophils or macrophages. And these would be the cells that would be dealing with getting rid of that danger signal because that's the whole point of the immune response. On the other hand, the T-cell response can trigger a further B-cell response with the appropriate cytokine stimulation. It activates B cells and makes them mature into plasma cells. It is the plasma cell that is responsible for the anti-drug antibody induction. So basically, the anti-drug antibodies are going to bind the whole drug, not just the T cell epitope, and the eosinophil, neutrophil, and macrophage will also be dealing with the whole drug as a danger signal not just the T-cell epitope, but it is the T-cell response, the one that triggers this whole, and orchestrates, let's say, this whole response to get rid of something that is per perceived as dangerous. It is also the T-cell response, the one that could produce memory B-cells. These cells will now identify the whole drug and they will be able to respond faster with future exposure to the drug. This immunogenicity is an unwanted effect of the therapeutic proteins. We definitely do not want the immune system to mount an immune response against the, the drug because it would decrease efficacy and it can cause safety concerns. The only area of development in the drug uh, development work where we actually desire an immunogenic response is vaccines, where the whole point is that what we are vaccinating with, we are expecting to mount an immune response that will be protective for the individual. But in all the other therapeutic protein examples, immunogenicity is not desired. Immunogenicity is an idiosyncratic response. What this means is that different individuals will react differently. While we know that some danger signals are identified by everybody, like crystals or cell walls and pathogens, because they're not normally seen by our body as part of ourselves, there are other cases and ample examples of different antigens in nature that are seen by some individuals as dangerous, like some people have poison ivy allergy or allergy to peanuts. And this is not everybody, it's idiosyncratic. We also react to other individuals, to other people's antigens in different ways. Sometimes the reaction could be very dramatic. And this is evidently something that we need to match before a tissue transplant, an organ transplant, or a blood transfusion, for instance. So this is unique. And we need to understand if a particular individual is going to react to a drug as if it was a danger signal. This is really difficult to predict, and we can only measure it once we're doing the drug development. If an individual does mount an immune response against the drug, this particular individual can have the T-cell response or the B-cell response or both. And this 
Any drug antibody induction is a very useful tool that we have to measure anti-drug antibodies during clinical trials to characterize the frequency by which a particular drug is perceived as dangerous and is mounting an immunogenic response to the drug and during the clinical trial development. Not all of them are going to produce memory, not all of them are going to produce any drug antibodies, some of them are going to have only a T cell response, others a B cell response. But in all cases, it's idiosyncratic. We do need to understand if an individual reacts or doesn't react to that drug, if that reaction is creating a memory to it, and also how um, intense and how severe this reaction is so that we can trade on a case-by-case -case basis.